talk about GOAT talk. Mm -hmm. Is Serena the greatest athlete of all time? Now, I will start. And I'm going to say absolutely. Absolutely. Serena is a Black woman from Compton who has dominated an international sport. This isn't a sport you see a whole bunch of Black women playing in, you know. Mm -hmm. That's why we all are, you know, everybody's jumping on the Naomi bandwagon or we mentioned Sloan Stevens because these are Black women playing in this sport. And back in the day, you would see Serena and Venus, you know, being two of, you know, some of the only Black women to play this sport. Right. This is an international sport that this Black woman has come, come in and dominated. This is not a sport that, you know, we grow up just regular black kids who just grow up playing on the on the playground at school. No, this is a sport that you have to actually put time and effort into. And Serena has completely dominated 23 grand slams, 23, the most by anyone in an in the open air. Now, when it comes to uh, the most in at, at, at any point, she's only one behind, <laughs> one behind mm -hmm. the most at any point okay mm -hmm. now when you go to everything put together uh what we got we got doubles we got singles and mixed doubles and you put mm -hmm. all that together she got 39 grand slams and that's second all time mm -hmm. mind you this is an international sport and she is a black woman from compton not only that but she won a grand slam while pregnant what other athlete, granted Serena is the only woman on, you know, in the argument of greatest athlete of all time, but I'm sorry, that right there, that is literally the story of her legacy. When you think of Serena, of course, you're going to think about all the greatness she's done, but the fact that this woman came out here and won a grand slam while pregnant, unheard of. Yeah. unheard of incomparable when we look at naomi osaka yes she has four right now but girl you got a long way to go mm -hmm. before you reach serena oh, williams yeah. a long way to go 23 Bruh. now that <clears throat> now <clears throat> the pregnancy thing that that throws a wrench in, uh, in a lot of arguments because it's like like you said serena's the only woman in here so she's the only one that that that's possible because you know right. i have some men can't be pregnant um I do want to address one thing that I saw. This was probably right after the Super Bowl. It had to be. Mm -hmm. Somebody was like, um, you know, Serena stood a goat because she has 23 grand slams and Tom only has seven Super Bowls. I was like, wait a minute. Let, let's let's be let's be real reasonable about this. There's only one Super Bowl every year. There's four grand slams. Let's there's more opportunity to win grand slams. Not to discount Serena, but uh, no, no, it's there wasn't no. That was not to discount Serena by any. Okay, means. I'm about to say because that this was, is where you go from individual sport to team sport. No, no. The point of the point of that was it, that's oh, okay. A, that was a skewed. It was a. I I got what they were trying to get at, but it's a skewed mm -hmm. argument just because there's more opportunities to win Grand Slams than there are Super Bowls. That's what I was getting at. But just, also, Tom Brady can have someone else win the game for him. The, again, no, and you're right. No, I, again, mm -hmm. I was just pointing out how skewed that argument was. That's right. Mm -hmm. Um, as far as the goal um serena's up there do not get me wrong serena's up there but when you factor in but you also have to factor in people like ali greatest pound for pound boxer to ever live um i guess we're going with babe ruth if we're talking about baseball is that who we're going with I, yeah but baseball i don't think baseball it, it, no <laughs> i'm sorry i guess that's when, it comes to, when it comes it's... to greatest athlete of all time no player in baseball to me Rap goes pound for pound to boxing, football, yeah, tennis, mm -hmm. or even basketball. There's right. just, just when it comes to just being prolific, mm -hmm. there is just you know no, yeah, no. Uh, and when it comes to ba uh, basketball, and this is not an opportunity for an unscheduled debate. Um, you know, Jordan, LeBron, Kobe, whoever you're gonna pick out of those th three, right? Um, and then in football, it's obviously Tom Brady. I tend to go with the sport that I love the most in this because it because of the the contact the nature of the game and just all that goes into it I tend to tend to go with Tom Brady um just because okay. of 
Go I'll ahead. keep going. I'm sorry. No, just because of everything that you know, I understand it's not a it's not an international game. I understand that it's not you know, um, you know, uh, it, it, not anybody can pick up a football and play, but there's a lot more access to it, right? Um, or actually, a lot. If I'm gonna have to pick one, it's gonna be Michael Jordan. And see, you all over the place. No, 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 no. I'm. <laughs> Look, you all over the I place. I have. To, I said it. No, I said Tom Brady, and I was like, what? No, absolutely. No, actually, so you know it's Michael Jordan. So, no, you I know. Have a clear cup. Okay, you pick a Michael Jordan. I'm, yes, a, I'm, I'm gonna pick that Michael apart, Jordan. but keep going. I know. Again, this, what did I just say? This is not for. An, it's not an opportunity for an unscheduled debate about LeBron versus Jordan. That's not what we're. No, 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 not even. Not even. I'm not even doing a LeBron James argument. But keep going. No. Okay. Then. Okay. Michael Jordan. Go. Michael Jordan doesn't even have the most wins in his perspective league. Okay. So are we are we thought. What do you mean? Yeah. Okay. When you think of okay, like then all time go, then neither does Serena. Of, she is one away, Mervin. Okay, one away, which okay. is what she can still get if we're bringing at up the age of forty. You're right, but Michael Jordan is not even close. He is five was five away. If we're bringing up, because we're not talking about, we're not talking about in the sport. If we're talking about the sport of basketball, of course, there's, of course, Michael Jordan is the majority of people's goat when it comes to the sport of basketball. But we're talking about the greatest athlete of all time, the athlete that completely dominated their sport completely. And he did it completely. And he did it because you have players, (laughs) you have players that have a whole hand, a whole hand worth of championships more than Michael Jordan. Okay, you still have debates on who's the greatest of all time in basketball. Michael Jordan is not the clear cut greatest of all time in, in basketball. That to me invalidates the response. You could, the Tom Brady, the Tom Brady argument you had, to me, the Tom Brady argument was yes. I mean, at this point, everybody agrees Tom Brady is the greatest of all time in football. But when it comes to basketball, literally the debate is who's the greatest of all time all the time, LeBron James or Michael Jordan. But to me, if we are talking about the greatest athlete of all time, you cannot put Michael Jordan in there against a Serena Williams simply because Serena Williams is literally at the precipice of literally having tying the most Grand Slams ever by woman and man. Not just, not just, not just women, woman and man. When Michael Jordan was five away from the most championships. If we're just looking at hardware, okay, <laughs> like no, and it's no, not at all, not at all. Because if you are, if there's a debate in your own sport about who's the greatest of all time, how is there? How are you the greatest athlete of all time? If there is a debate within your one sport, mm. the game of basketball on who the goat is, and you can say, Mervin, we we disagree on who the goat is, but you can say that argument comes up extremely often correct the the argument didn't start coming up until lebron really got got big before that it was Uh, obviously bourbon that's it's the greatest of all time who are we arguing what the what obviously no obviously lebron james you are not arguing you said you just said the argument didn't come up until lebron james got big mervin we're talking about the greatest of all time. If you're not big, you're not in the argument. What do you mean? But no, what I'm saying is it was obviously Jordan. People didn't start debating it until Kobe and Jordan. No, and Kobe, well, really not Kobe because Kobe's, to me, clear cut number two. But people really didn't start debating it until LeBron became who LeBron is now. So back to your argument. But, no, go ahead. But people are to, debating it. But you, people are but debating you just said it. people are debating it. And it's highly debated, right? No, that's and, and that's If you fair. walk into a sports no, bar fair. today- if you walk to a sports bar today and you say, if it is, say it's, say it's 10 people. If right. you walk to a sports bar and you say, who's the greatest basketball player of all time? Is all, are all 10 people going to say Michael Jordan? No, absolutely not. So and how all people would aren't going to say LeBron either. So, so how would he be the greatest of all time? But, okay, okay. It's a debate on who is the you greatest know how? in his one you know sport. How? Because when people talk about, see, you done got me big chest now. What happens is if I walk into a barbershop and it's 10 people, not including myself, and I say, these you 10 people, barbers, patrons alike, greatest basketball player of all time right now, don't think about it, go. Jordan, LeBron, Jordan, LeBron, Kobe, Jordan, LeBron. That's what would happen. 
Bill Russell's name would not come up. You know why? Because I'm glad you mentioned Bill Russell, Ashley, and I'm going to tear your argument to shreds with three simple facts. One, Bill Russell played for the Boston Celtics from 1956 to 1969. I just looked it up. I, yeah, I saw you looking it up. Correct. I was looking it mm-hmm. up. You know how many teams were in the league in 1956 when he got there? Eight. You know how many teams were in the league in 1969 when he left? 14. He played against next to nobody. You know how many teams were in the league when Jordan was excuse winning me, six excuse championships? Me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. You said he played against next to nobody. Did you also look to who was in the league when he no, was no, in the no. league? No, no, no. Look, I didn't uh, say there I'm weren't great players. I'm about to say legends. I didn't say there were, no. Legends. You're right. No, you're 100% correct. There were legends. Oh, okay. But what I'm saying is there were, there's more oppor- there were more teams that could beat Jordan. Okay. There were 30 teams in the league when he had to play. Okay. So, so yes, there, yes, Bill Russell has 11 okay. championships, Wait. but when I only have you... to play against 10 teams, it's less competition. Okay. But you're also, let me, to, to that point, you're saying is Michael Jordan did not have to play all those teams. The NBA works. You're you in play... conferences. The NBA works You still like play this. everybody every once, year. But once you make it to, but once you make it to the championship, I mean, once you make it to the playoffs, you're in conferences. Le- let me let me tear that argument up. LeBron James. The reason why people were saying LeBron James, some of you people saying LeBron James not to go because LeBron Cause James not. played in the Eastern Conference for a while. Yes. In the Eastern Conference. Exactly- wait, wait, wait. The reason why some of y'all say LeBron James is not to go is because LeBron James played in the Eastern Conference, and that had he played in the West, he would have had tougher competition. Correct. Yes. Exactly. Therefore, you are agreeing. That you don't have to play every team to win. You just made Ashley. I just making, I you no, are, no, no no you are you just said you just said you just said because you, you are making my points for me. You're two for two. I'm Thank not you. I'm not making your points yes, though because you, you you made Mervin you made my point a long time ago. You said if you walk into a barber shop you gonna hear Michael Jordan LeBron Kobe. Michael Jordan, LeBron, Kobe. If you are not the clear-cut goat of your sport, but you nobody. cannot be. Listen, if you are not the clear-cut goat of your sport, you cannot be the clear-cut goat of all sports. How does that make sense, Mervin? Yes, if you are not the clear-cut goat of all of your one so, sport, how are you the clear-cut goat? So of we're going to penalize. Let me, Jordan. let me. So we're going to penalize Michael Jordan because LeBron showed up and Kobe showed up. That's not his fault. Exactly. It's no, not it's, his fault that he's not the greatest athlete of all time. Exactly. It's no, not his it's, fault. No, it's not, he's no. not. That does not ruin his argument because just because two people does. showed up after he was done, that does not ruin his argument. And the, it does. It does because if you are not the greatest, if you're not the greatest basketball player in the game of basketball, how are you the greatest of all sports? He everybody, is. Everybody, the thing about, see, when you click Tom Brady, you say he is, but it's a debate. It's always a debate. That is literally the number one debate. debate. That no, no, that is literally number one debate. Who's greater, LeBron James or Michael Jordan? If you have that debate within one sport, you cannot then be the greatest of all time in all sports because you are not the clear cut greatest of all time in your one sport. Serena and Tom Brady. When you had Tom Brady, you was on some. You were on some with Tom Brady. You're not with Michael Jordan. This is clear. I don't don't know why we have this argument. It's not his fault. It's not his fault. (laughs) But, okay, it's you're correct. It's not his fault. But what I'm saying is, I, to me, this is common sense, and I don't understand why you're not getting it. If you are not the goat, if you're not the clear cut goat of your one sport, you cannot be okay. the clear cut goat of all sports. I okay. just do not you know understand what? why you don't understand that. You know what? Just to just to move on. Remember, you said this. I'm gonna fi- I'm gonna mark this down. I'm gonna remember you said that because after LeBron James retires, I don't want to ever hear you or anybody else say that LeBron James is the greatest of all time. Period. I don't ever want to hear oh, that because there's a debate. I'm gonna say LeBron James is the greatest of basketball player. Yes, but I would not say LeBron James is the greatest okay, athlete of all good. time because it's common sense. If there is a debate, you cannot be the greatest athlete of, of all, all sports. Ashley, I just do ta- not understand. Ashley. You can't use common sense with me because I don't have any. Let's start there. Clearly. <laughs> so don't use Clearly. that debate with me. So back, so back to what I was saying. <laughs> so back to what I was saying. Had you said Tom Brady, you would have been on to something. Because Tom Brady, if you start arguing with somebody today mm-hmm. that Tom Brady, somebody else say a John Elway, so if you start debating with somebody that somebody else is to go to football, everybody going to look at you like, bro, you stupid. At this point, you That's, don't. Yes. So you had something with Tom Brady because he is the clear cut greatest in his one sport. Serena is the clear cut greatest in her one sport. That is how you then become in the conversation with 
who's the greatest athlete of all time with all sports put together? Who, who out of all the sports was a trailblazer when it came to bringing other people like them into the sport? You have Serena Williams. Mm -hmm. You have a Muhammad Ali. Yes. You don't have a Tom Brady. The the league is full of, of, the league is full of white quarterbacks. Yeah. Serena Williams literally went into a league that did not have us, was not full of us. And there are so many young, Coco Golf. There are so many young, Serena Williams is literally historic in what she has done. Yes. has made history literally in history books okay oh. she she invented tennis to us black women like think about it no. if serena williams had not been so great would we be so involved would we be so engulfed in watching no. the australian open no absolutely would not. these and, young and... girls would, would there be a coco golf would there be a naomi osaka look I'm not. De- Would there be a Sloan Stevens? I'm not debate. I'm not. I'm not disagreeing with with what you're saying. Obviously, well, I'm, everybody. I'm telling you what it takes to be a greatest of all athlete no, it, of all time. I and I hear you. Like obviously, she's revolutionary in the game. Revolutionary. Uh, yeah, she's revol. I'm not. I would never say she's not because obviously she is. That would be just idiotic. But, but what, that goes into being the greatest athlete of all time, correct? Being revolutionary. It it goes into being on the list. It doesn't necessarily make you number one on the list. Okay. Pause. I'm not saying that one thing makes you revolutionary. I mean, makes you number one. But if you are revolutionary and you are history making, you have the most grand slams Mm -hmm. of all time in the open air. You are one behind, pause, of men and women in an individual sport with hundreds of players, hundreds of players from all walks of life. This is an international sport. This is not Mm -hmm. the National Football League. This is not just America. Tom Brady is playing in just America, just the United States of America. Serena Williams is literally playing against everyone in the world. Mm -hmm. Everyone in the world. This alone makes her the greatest athlete of all time. To have that accomplishment, the most grand slams of anyone, men or women in the open air out of everyone in the world, the best players across the globe. And to be one away when it comes to all time grand slams. And you were revolutionary in doing it. To me, there is no debate that Serena is the greatest athlete of all time. There is a pool, Tom Brady is in a small pool. Serena Williams is literally in this gigantic pool in which she stands alone. Now, granted, the NFL is the great, the best football league in, in you know, the world, yeah. et cetera. But it's also a team sport. Uh, I can, there, you, will you admit that there are some Super Bowls that were won by other players other than Tom Brady that he played in and won? Yeah, other he he's he doesn't have seven MVPs. He only has five. That's fair. Thank you. Yeah, no, that Serena obvious. Williams is Serena Williams is literally doing this by herself against the entire world. The best players in the entire world. To me, there is no debate that Serena Williams is literally the greatest athlete of all time because she's by herself against pl- the best players in the entire world, has the best most grand slams in the open air out of men and women, mm-hmm. both pools. Okay. And she was revolutionary in doing so. To me, there is no debate whatsoever who's the greatest athlete of all time. It is Serena Williams. I don't know why you brought Michael Jordan there. That just threw me all is. the way off. And that's why we were going in for so long. I have never heard somebody say Michael Jordan was the greatest athlete of all time. That is the first for me. Um, and yeah, yeah, I don't, I just don't know where that came from. <laughs> I just don't know where that came from. I really don't. I don't. Said what I said. I meant <laughs> I just it. don't know where that came from. And yeah, thank you. People, somebody, uh, follow us. Whoever's listening to this, I want you to hit up our social medias. Uh, mm-hmm. No, more right pod on Instagram. Right. Send us a DM and tell us: Do you think Michael Jordan is the greatest athlete of all time? Do you think Michael Jordan is in the conversation of the greatest athlete of all time? In the co- no, when I say in a debate. conversation, I mean a we very can, serious conversation. Okay, top we can two. we can top de- two. Ashley, top we can two. we can debate if he's the goat top in basketball, two. but what we're not going to do is act like he's not in that conversation. When I say no, and no, no, and when in I the say conversation conver- for top two. Okay, well, I was about to say when I say conver- when you say conversation, I'm thinking like 
list 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 five you know list, list no, 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 top no. Five. you you definitely put him at number one but no, no, if no, you that's think what I'm yeah. michael jordan is in the top two one or two of greatest athletes of all time please please Let's post this to Instagram. Comment below, please. Please do. <laughs> Tell me. Please do. Please. Tell the me I'm right. athlete of all time. Not a Muhammad Ali. Not a Serena Williams. Not a Tom Brady. Michael Jordan, greatest athlete of all time. Given everything, every, his whole career, everything. Mm -hmm. Greatest yeah. athlete of all time. Yep. And let's go ahead and throw Tiger Woods in there since we're, you know, because... I mean, Tiger, oh, yeah, Tiger Woods. Yeah, Tiger Woods. Yeah, now, got, now you talk. Yeah, now you talk like... Hey, 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 hey. So he he's still in the hospital. Let let's let's leave our our, oh, our yeah, comment. I'm, he's still in the I'll hospital. I'll let him make it. I'll yeah. let him make it today, then. Um, but I mean, yeah, unquestion. Now you talk about an unquestioned goat. That that's one right there. But oh yeah, you know, just self sabotaging. But other than that, 